Hi everybody, it's Sandra. I'm hoping you enjoy this little stroll around an auction that I went to. There were definitely some nice things. I didn't buy anything. The prices went too high on the lots that I wanted. But this is kind of a cool old lot. There's a lot of cool junk <laughs> stuff there. Some old glasses. Oh, I see a little bit of jewelry. I'm definitely going to take a look at that. Some pretty stuff, right? This is interesting. So that's a Whiting and Davis purse, but you see how there's yellow and purple? I've never seen that before. A little bit of red, too, I think. Pretty little roses around the top. So I'm just going to open it up to look for the signature. But, you know, you can tell it's a Whiting and Davis. And there it is. You kind of can't see it. I mean, I couldn't see it either, but I know that shape. I can't remember what that lot sold for. This was really pretty, too. I love Christmas tree pins and Christmas pins in general. Not signed by anybody. Some neat old stuff. People just bid so high on this stuff, it's crazy. So that's probably Vermeer. I was trying to take a look there. I couldn't really see it. So I think it's a Vandel. That would make sense. I have a bunch of those already that are very similar. Missing a stone. That one's cool, though. What else can we see? Oh, there's an old medicine bottle. I don't know what that is. I guess some sort of antibiotic. That's from the 50s, I think. All right, moving on. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> look at this Coro Craft pin. I wanted this lot just because of that, but unfortunately so did a couple of other people. So I'm going to look through the lot here and see if there's anything else that would make it worth... Uh, I can't remember what, what it went for, maybe two fifty dollars or something. So I don't, I don't know. I just kind of don't see how you could make two fifty dollars on that. Mm, you know, yeah, not sure. Not sure. I'm not looking to lose money, that's for sure, you know? Obviously, that goes without saying. I kind of like this lot, you know, 70 or $80 worth, maybe. Oh, that's a really cute sweetheart pin, Mother of Pearl. That's pretty, too, isn't it? That might have been real silver. That's pretty, too. That might be that Connemara marble. I like that. I like that one a lot. That's another really good one. That's pretty. Kind of some wear on it, though. That was really nice, too. Yeah, I forgot about that one. That's a bracelet, I think. Just, um, just bidding that's going too out of control. If you would have bought it, let me know. Just curious. That's a pretty little gold-filled thing. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one, but I couldn't afford it. So here's a really cool thing. This is an old land deed. It's really big. I'm going to put my hand on so you can see how big it is. 1855. Look at that. I love old stuff like this, and it had the wax seal also. Yeah, that was like a huge thing. Somebody collected a lot of knives, I guess. Looks like they're getting rid of their whole collection. Oh, sorry if that's making you dizzy. <laughs> Here's some old Christmas stuff. Well, some was old, some was new. That's a really cute tree topper. Look at that. Oh, those are cute, the little bisque angels. I think I have that same Santa, that spaghetti one right there. I think I have that one. Oh, pretty, right? Of course, the birds, those clip on top of the branches. Oh, this is interesting. That says Abercrombie and Fitch. And that looks old. Whoever knew they made uh, whatever those are, um, spoons and drinks or stirrers and things. I think that whole lot was silver plate, some interesting stuff that I know nothing about, really. I try to stay in my lane, you know, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Sometimes I veer out, but that's pretty cool. 
I love charm bracelets. I think this whole box right here is a sterling box. And I was interested, but just started going into the over 200 range. And I couldn't justify it. That's pretty. These are pretty too. Everything's pretty. But nothing is really slamming me over the head here with something that would be very valuable to resell. Or also, you know, something I love. Well, I love that. That's for sure. That I love. Really love. But not, you know, not over $200 worth. That's all. That's pretty. Kind of, you know, some stuff I've seen before. Not really special. I'm just checking to see if there's any outstanding charms. A lot of common ones I've seen many, many times before. That's pretty. Everything there is pretty, for sure. That's adorable. I didn't see the key in there, but I love little locks like that. So there's some necklaces. A lot of heavy stuff. So nice weight on the things. Oh, I love that. Look, two peas in a pod. That, I was wild about that one, too. Yeah, the bracelet and the peas in the pod I really liked. Pretty stuff. Now this one, uh, this was 14 karat gold. So I was thinking about bidding on it until it just went up into the silly amounts. It says Mexico 14K. I guess that's an Aztec mask. And here's some 14 karat gold shell earrings. Those were really heavy, really heavy. I can't remember what they sold for, but. Oh, I love these. These are old music boxes. This is somebody's whole collection, I guess. These are beautiful. So they're all made of wood. These are probably from the 40s or 50s. Yeah, Thorins. But there's really intricate ones here. They're so nice. Uh, look at that. And they're in really nice condition also. I'm sure you can tell that, right? Oh, that's so cool. I didn't stay too long at this auction, so I'm not really sure what these all sold for. But I, I don't even know if they were selling them individually or as a lot. But I just wanted to see if this thing went around, and it did. Look at that. That's really awesome. Here's a fine gentleman. He definitely came from some money, right? I just wanted to see his jewelry, because of course I did. <laughs> but, yeah, it wasn't in good shape. It had a big hole in it and stuff. And here's some of those Russian nesting dolls that I never remember the name. Matryoshka, I think. There's certain words I can never remember. It's like a weird mental block I have. I love old cards and stuff like that. I just always enjoy looking at them, but not enough to pay the money to buy them, you know, unless they're going to go for cheap and then I can resell them. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute, too. I think there's a really weird one here that I'm going to pick up just because it looked, I don't know, it looked like a, like a Hawaiian girl or something. I thought it was kind of interesting. Yeah, her. Oh, what a friendly face. Yeah, that's an honorary. Oh, it plays Tiny Bubbles. That's funny. Who remembers Don Ho? <laughs> my, mother, um, my grandmother used to like Don Ho. I remember that from being a kid. Oh, I love this. I love old scrapbooks like this. There's some lovely old cards in here. Those definitely have collectability. Oh, that's an awesome Easter card. I just love the graphics. I don't know if they were signed or not. And a lot of those, of course, have that sort of raised up design. How beautiful, right? Oh, there's some beautiful Valentine's uh, cards too. Look at the condition. Wonderful condition. Don't know what those sold for. Look at the Santa. Old time Santas weren't that friendly. Not like these days. They're sort of stern looking or something. Oh, so pretty. A lot of memories in there. 
for somebody. Here's a, another music box table. That's a beautiful porcelain one, and then just these kind of rectangle ones. There's a really great one coming up in a little while that everybody was gathered around because it had like a singing bird inside. We're going to take a look at that in a bit. I don't know what these are. I, I guess they're pipes. I've never seen anything like it before. Huh. Interesting. Somebody's whole collection. Just not sure. I've never seen anything like it. I'm just going to take a look here at some of the little, the little stuff. That's a nice little fur clip or dress clip. Some pretty stuff. That's interesting. Look at that. I think I guess that was a candy box or something. Somebody put buttons in it. Not in great condition though. Interesting stuff. I love old buttons. I don't usually buy them because you know what am I gonna do with them, but I do really like feeling them. This I don't know what this is. Who knows? It says white and black. I, I don't understand what this is. Is this like a game thing or maybe this held products in a store like on a counter? I don't know what it is. Isn't that unusual? It was really big. I don't know if you can tell. I was just sort of interested in it. I don't know what it was though. Old swords are collectible, of course. Oh, here's the music box. Here it is. Look at this. It's just a repro. It's not really the old one. Oh, I love that. But wait till you see what's inside. Look at that. So pretty. I love that. I bet you that sold for a bunch of money. What an awesome jewelry box that would make, right? Here's some very interesting old cards. Oh, look at that, a Civil War postcard. Revolutionary War postcard. I love those. There's another stern-looking Santa. Well, he was kind of a little friendlier, I guess. Neat items. I don't have time to research those and sell them. That's the, that's the thing. But if somebody had the patience to sell those one by one, I'm sure there's plenty of a profit in there, I would think. I do enjoy them. Now oh, that was great. And an old scene with horse, horse and buggies. Cool. Continuing on, this was beautiful. I thought at first it was a jewelry box, but it looks kind of like one of those boxes that you write on, if you know what I'm talking about. And then like you keep stationary inside there. Not, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really convinced that's what it is. I'm just not sure. It sure is beautiful though. Here's some old swords. Here's some cool stuff. That's an interesting compact. It compliments a Coca-Cola that says interesting. That was another compact. Yeah, some cool stuff in there. I'm going to take a look at it, I guess. I don't know what this sold for either. Nothing really killer, but some, definitely some fun old stuff. A lot of drink stirrers there, I guess, in those bags. Nice old compact, not in great condition though. I like that one. These have to be collectible. Those model airplane magazines, those looked old. Here's a beautiful old book. A lot of kind of staining on the pages or foxing. Stern Santa. <laughs> He's actually kind of a creepy Santa, actually. 
Yikes. It's a great old book. This would be a really scary one coming up. This one. Whoa. I've seen that one before, actually. Or that picture or something. It's a familiar thing. The book is wrecked, though. I guess those are stocks. Train company stocks, it look like. Here's a great big old family. Here's another scrapbook. Oh, great Victorian scrapbook. I still have a couple that I'm uh, that I have to sell. I've sold a few. I got some at an auction last year. Uh, I'll put in the description me going through it in case anybody wants to see that because there was some beautiful stuff in one of the scrapbooks that I sold. These were just piles and piles and piles of old magazines. <laughs> funny. Very funny. I've never heard of this magazine, Motor Magazine. There were a lot of them there, though. Those are all really big stacks. Murdoch, 8, 95, 28. Who remembers that? When you, uh, you didn't have a number in front, you had a word. I don't. I'm a little bit too young for it. Here's some awesome Garfield Christmas houses. CB radio thing. <laughs> some more old uh, old magazines, some old Playboys. It's crazy. It's crazy eyes. You can sell them on eBay just up to a certain year. No. No, scary doll, but there's even a scarier one. Watch this. Wow. No. No, ma'am. No, sir. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Whoa. <laughs> All right. It's kind of cute, I guess. I take it back. I take it back. And there's a really friendly doll coming up. Look, Mrs. Beasley. Who remembers Mrs. Beasley? What an unusual doll to like hit the market and become a success, like an old lady doll. I had one. Did you have a Mrs. Beasley? I did. I think Cindy on the Brady Bunch had one, and I think Buffy on Family Affair might have had Mrs. Beasley too. Here's some pretty dishes and stuff. I don't know anything about them, but I do like looking at them. Oh, these are interesting. I actually have a couple of these somewhere. That's for like a newspaper printing or whatever. Um, I wasn't, I was trying to read them. They're all backwards, of course. That's a whole box of them. Very, very interesting. That would be really fun to go through them and then, you know, sell them and stuff. But, uh, don't know. <laughs> it looks like they're from the 1950s. Well, some of them are at least. Those are interesting. Yeah, those are metal, metal and wood. Here's Alvin and the Chipmunks. What are their names? Alvin, Theodore, and um, something that starts with an S. I should know that actually, but I can't remember. Someone's whole Chipmunks collection. It's like a backpack. There's an electric toothbrush. I remember this movie, Willow. That was actually a very, very cool movie. It's from the 80s, I think. Those are all new in their packages. I bet you that those sold for a lot. I'm not sure. Those are really neat, though. Whoa, sorry. Bad camera work. Here's some more weird stuff. I think we might be coming to the end right here. Uh, let me see. I'm not sure. I think so, though. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to take a look at some more jewelry, are we? I believe this is another sterling silver lot. Look at that cool 1940s pin, sterling. Yeah, it has a matching earrings, too. The earrings just said patent penned on them. That, uh, I don't know what that says, Ann Lee or something. I've never seen that before, that name brand. 
Here's the matching earrings. Missing some stones, some yellowed stones and stuff. Pretty though. I really like the shape. I'm just trying to make out what it says, but it just, just says patent pending or pat pen. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this necklace. I think that's pretty cool. I think I was bidding on this lot, but it went, you know, went too high for me. Well, I think this is actually the very end of the video. Thank you so much for walking around this auction with me. I didn't buy anything, but I had a wonderful time looking at all the old stuff. I certainly hope you do too. Uh, let me know what you think below. Okay. Thanks for subscribing, everybody. I hope to catch you soon. Bye-bye.